Sal. Sal. Hi. I'm hungry. I'm sleepy. Oh, can we go for brunch? Can you give me another hour and we'll call it lunch? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just I'll just lie here for an hung <laughs> hour. Hungry? Is this comfortable? No, get off. <laughs> You're so needy. You love it. <laughs> Stop. Oh, morning, bro. Oh, you like that? <laughs> He's so gross. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, who's awake at this time? It's 10 a.m., so. <laughs> it's June. I'll call her back in a bit. No, I invited her to brunch. Okay. Hey. this weekend. I was planning on staying in, mostly. That's what we thought. Izzy and I booked an Airbnb on the island for the next three days, and we are picking you up in an hour. As great as that sounds, Junebug, I, I think I got a pass. He says he's not coming. Don't be a little bitch. Yeah, come on, stop being a little bitch. Come on, it'll do you good. All right, all right. Yay! Love you, bye! Love you, bye! Me, you, you're you're the heart's heart. joking. I wasn't. You guys, Brian's gonna show us the place. Cool. Oh, is Brian gonna show us the place? Yeah, Brian's gonna show us the place. We can hear you. <laughs> nice. Wow. Yeah. And this is just the kitchen. Wait until I show you the rest of the love shack. Okay. This is what I like to call stage one, kind of like first base. Shall I show you second base? Yeah, maybe just show us the bedrooms. Okay. If you're tracking my analogy, that's what I like to call it. Home base? Exactly. My little joke. But we uh, have filmed porn here before. Hi. Hi. 
So, uh, due to the last minute nature of your booking, I didn't have time to stock the nightstand. Oh, that's, uh, that's cool, man. I don't think we'll be needing any, um, that kind of thing. Oh, look, I'm not here to judge. Who you sleep with and where is entirely <laughs> up to you. I appreciate your sentiment, but we're not together. Yeah, well, we're just friends. Really? You guys have this kind of electric chemistry. Really? Oh, yeah. So, uh, want to see the rest of the rooms? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, sometimes it's good for a host to stay and help you bed down. Yeah, so, no, uh, we're good. I'm not far away. I could drop in from time no. to time. Yeah, uh, again, we're good, but thanks, bud. Bye, Brian. See you soon, babe. Yeah, how about a couple days? Oh, my God. So? Jeez. He's a character. I think he's cute. <laughs> Sure, he's a little horned up. At least he doesn't hide it like most guys. Yeah, that's way better. So, should we set up some house rules? Oh, get it off! You're uh, freaking heavy. We should take turns cooking and cleaning. And by that, you mean Izzy will cook and will clean. Secondly, and most importantly, no phones. Please. Like, you guys could stay off your phones for two hours, let alone two days. You do realize that this rule is just for you, right? We're only doing this out of solidarity. Hmm? You need to stop thinking about Luz. And if you go on your phone, you're gonna try and call her. Fair. So anything else? Last and most important rule. Friends don't let friends drink their problems away alone. Hey, that's fair. Goodbye, liver. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to keep bringing it up. So, be proactive. Beautiful response, June. Beautiful. Hey, Iz. Yeah? Can you get me another drink, please? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Fine. Yep. So? So? Lucy. Mm. New rule. The name Lucy is off limits. Really? Yep. Unless we're plotting revenge. June. <laughs> what? I uh, like it, but we still can't use her name. Okay. You two are children. Obviously. What uh, kind of revenge are you thinking? Well, I was thinking, you know, all the sexual misconduct allegations right now. I like where you're going. Everyone's guilty by accusation. So instead of revenge porn, we could revenge smear her. Jesus, June, that's dark. You're supposed to be our innocent one. I know. I've been adding dark sides to myself. <laughs> Spice things up a little. I like it. Which part? The revenge smear or my dark side? Both. Well, as much as I like your dark side, Luz did nothing wrong. She was lovely. <laughs> Drink. And yes, she's great, but she's an ex now. So we hate her. Seriously? Yep. No. She's great. It was me. Hey, you're great too. Yeah, I was joking. Hey, I need another drink. <laughs> me too. Okay. I got it. Every time. Hey, it's expected. Not sure that it is, but given we've met Brian, I wholly support it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, you think it's his? Has to be. Hey. Mm. Nice. Okay. It's called, wait for it, Lobirica. Hilarious. Not sure that it is. Oh, what, so you're not gonna smoke it? I absolutely am. I won't get Good, eh? What do you guys think of my walk? Huh? My walk. What do you mean? Do you like it? Is it a strong walk? I have never really considered that, to be honest. Why would you lie? What? You said to be honest. Why would you not be honest? Fair question. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might mix it up. If I start walking more like a badass, 
maybe people will think that I'm more of a badass. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Give me a strike. All right. <laughs> Good. What about like a... Yeah, because that looks totally bad. And badass. That, that'll help you get the good badass. I might as well just start walking like this. <laughs> Is something lame. What do you got? Okay. Let's see this. Okay. Let us see this. Yeah. Bring it. What the fuck is what? that? That's my new walk. <laughs> fuck <laughs> you guys. <laughs> this looks amazing. Have I ever told you that I love you? Yes, and it generally coincides with my cooking. But cooking a whole Christmas dinner just to make us Christmas sandwiches is pretty amazing. It's amazing. It's nothing really. You sure we can't help? Well, you want this to be all time, right? Yeah. Yeah, then no thanks. <laughs> You're treating this like a challenge, aren't you? Kind of. Juniper, what is your favorite dish? And do not say spaghetti and meatballs again, because I'm so tired of making the same shit for you over and over. Pancakes with loads of fruit and tons mm. of syrup. Well, then that's breakfast sorted. Yay! <laughs> to the chef of what could be the best Christmas sandwich ever. Cheers. To the chef of the best Christmas sandwich ever. Seriously? Mm. <laughs> this is my favorite Christmas sandwich I've ever had. Mm, really? Kumbo Sambo is my favorite, and this is the best. It's fucking amazing. Well, thank mm -hmm. you guys. Excuse me while I become extremely antisocial and devour the shit out of this. Hey, take your time. You always enjoy things better when you take your time. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I'm enjoying this just fine. <laughs> so? So? So what's Jason been saying? Mm. Jason hasn't texted me back for four days. Shit. Yeah. Well, would you text him last? What does that matter? Well, if you didn't start a conversation, he's technically not ignoring mm. you. True. Let's see. Hey, you free for dinner tomorrow night? Fuck. Rough. Yeah. Why is every guy you're into end up being a ghoster? It's just guys in general, especially in this city. Really? Because Jason always texts me back. Well, that's because you didn't sleep with him and then introduce him to your parents. Right. You guys are the worst. I just gave him a quick bajay and he begged me to be his old man. And blow him too, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> I hate you all. Hey, sorry, kid. You know what? He's driving a sled here. Like, is he? Excuse you? I mean, it sounds like a good plan. Right? Hey, don't either of you dare slut shame me. Oh, we're not shaming. We're saying it's the better way. Absolutely. I can't remember the last time you were hung up on someone. <laughs> well, that's because you gotta keep it casual. I mean, you gotta know what you want and then be upfront about it. And more often than not, I just gotta get taken care of sexually. How liberated of you. Oh, I thank you, sir. Don't take this the wrong way, darling. I've been thinking about you more than I wanted to do your red lips and your hair Though beautiful don't do justice to you What you've got so rare Wow, wow, wow! And playing songs you wrote about the she-devil isn't off limits? Nope! This is my grieving process. And is that Brian's guitar? Yep. So you know, I just have to wonder, what kind of songs does Brian play to woo his lovers on that guitar? And on that note, I'm gonna go pee. Make sure you wash your hands first. Gross. Wait. Can I come? What? I've always wanted to try. Aiming? <laughs> no. Sal, don't be lame. Let the girl hold your flaccid penis. See, that's the thing. The idea of a girl holding my penis while laughing might be my worst nightmare. That's because you're a square. Okay. Don't worry. Look, I'm gonna let me before we leave. Oh, I don't doubt it. Kind of a weird fetish tune, but I'm into it. It's not sexual. I just want to try aiming. Sure.
Hey, have you ever had a threesome? Not really. Not really sounds like kinda. There's one time I got to like one and a half bases with like two guys. Why didn't it go the full distance? Because I'm pretty sure they were more interested in each other than me. Really? What gave you that impression? Well, what gave it away, June Darling, was that about after 10 minutes when we called it off, the other two were in the other bedroom, giving it the full hog. I guess I should be flattered for the initial invite, but alas, I am not. How about you? Come on. Yes, you're the most obvious. Like that flute player from American Pie. <laughs> Hope you're not supporting this Johnson aiming fetish, yes? Whoa. And I need another drink. Me too. I'll get it. Oh, thanks. Time for more drinking games. Yeah. Can't we just drink and talk tonight? Oh, well, as sophisticated as you, Isabel. I really like booze. It hides the agony inside me. Yeah, you and Fun Bobby. That all your references are from the mid 90s. It was the golden age of television. Hmm. What? And that's what? Not, what? That was Not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I want a rematch. Oh, I think you're cut off for now. Why? Well, do you want a good day tomorrow or a bad day? Yeah, I think you've had enough. Okay, if I was too drunk, could I do this? <laughs> what you doing? Yoga. <laughs> okay, let me help. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's get, okay, let's get some fresh air before the yeah. rematch. <laughs> Oh, wait. Okay, I need shoes. Okay, I need shoes. And take it right. <laughs> Bullshit. It's true. I don't buy it. Todd's dad. How was that? Honestly, it was fucking awesome. <laughs> it's all that recent divorcee sexual frustration. So you would know a thing or two about that then, hey? No blow. Hey, if you're saying that I'm great at sex now, you're probably right. Uh, we'll see. Oh, will we? Okay, gross. <laughs> Maybe Brian's right, guys. We're oozing with sexual tension. Uh, uh, hot. Mm, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're officially at June making out with girls drunk. Which is what, two stages before barfing? I am not gonna puke this weekend, okay? <laughs> I am a whole new June. Shoes <laughs> <laughs> is okay. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I'm feeling sick. Okay. Oh. Are you okay, babe? Hold on a minute. Yeah. Oh, those beers are hitting me. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, keep, keep going. Keep oh, I think you're gonna puke. You guys have fun, though. I think she's fine. So much for a whole new June, hey? <laughs> Hi, Boothie. Hey. How you feeling? I threw up. I know. How do you know? I could hear you. No. It's okay. We've all seen you throw up before. I'm sorry we didn't get to have sex. It's okay. You gonna sleep here? Yeah, I'm cozy. Okay. I wanna kiss goodnight. Goodnight, you No, bad. don't leave me. Can we cuddle? Okay. Did you guys bring me here? Me 
because we were afraid you were going to try and kill yourself again. Good morning. Morning. So? So, we had sex last night. That we did. It's not weird, right? I don't think, do you think it's weird? No. How you feeling, Junkie? Solid six out of ten. Hmm. How are you two feeling? Good. Good? Yeah, good. So you two fuck buddies now, or what? Well, if someone could handle their booze a little better. What do you guys feel like doing today? A really beautiful breakfast, Sal. You no, know, we can't all be Red Seal chefs. How do you guys feel about a hike? I'm into it. Can I say no? No. Now that we've all seen you naked, I think we can confidently say you could do with a hike, babe. That's... Really mean. Okay, well then I need a drink. It's 9 a.m. It's vacation weekend. No judging on vacation weekend. So we're just gonna pretend like this is all just vacation now? Fuck off. And we're low on beer. Wow, that's embarrassing. I'll run into town and we can take off when I get back. Want company? Don't go wow wow. You done? Sorry, I'm done. No, all good. See you guys in a bit. Bye forever. Bye forever. How do you make an emergency call if you don't have any fucking service? Do you think we fucked up? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Yeah? Yeah, we fucked up? I don't know. We brought him out here to have a good time, but instead we just end up getting drunk and fucking him. Well, to be fair, only you fucked him. Right. How was that, by the way? Shut up. I'm actually super curious. I don't know. I mean, it's Sal. He's not exactly Fabio. Again, with the outdated references. I don't know. I guess it felt intimate. Well, at first I was repulsed and now I'm just jealous. Oh please, things must be like 50% less awkward for you. Yeah. You fucked Sal. <laughs> we had a weird moment last night. We all had a weird moment last night. When we were falling asleep, Sal told me that he loved me. Yeah, so? I don't know. It it felt different. I think you're reading too much into it. Probably. So what are we gonna do? Oh, we're going for a hike, right? You know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know. Just act as normal as possible, I guess, and let him talk about it if he wants to. Oh shit. Uh, hey. Hey, Sal. How are you? Uh, yeah. Super. Good. I'm glad. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, um... Me too. Wait, I guess we gotta deal with all the ex shit now. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I'm just, I'm calling to ask you if I can grab a few things. Hey, I found it uh, Ram you were uh, asking about. We also have a great selection of uh, West Coast Pale Ale from Windjammer. Oh, are, are you in the liquor store already? Uh, yeah. I, I know, I'm glad. Let off some steam. <laughs> so, so can I grab a I am actually on the island with uh, Izzy and June. Oh, cool. That's okay, I can just out look at them another Yeah, maybe we could, I don't know, grab a cup of coffee or something? Actually, um, <laughs> well, I have a key. So do, do you think I, could I let myself in? It's not like it's my first time. <laughs> I hate this. It'll do you good. Fuck you. I meant mentally. Hey, so how's the shop going? 
pretty good. People like it. <laughs> You're blowing up. Yeah, I guess. It's different than I expected, though. How do you mean? I don't know. I guess I just romanticized the idea of owning my own shop so much that now it seems kind of... What? Boring. Isn't it worth it to get all your friends half price clothes, though? Yeah, it's good. I'm just complaining about what I've always wanted, so I'll just go fuck myself. You guys, let me get your picture. Come on, Sal, we gotta get a picture taken. Gotta do it for the gram. Always complaining and then making it your profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get a selfie. I thought no phones. What did I just say? Okay, fine. One, two, three. Wieners. Wieners. Beautiful. Okay, I have to find somewhere to pee. Do you have to go? No, I'm good. Okay, fine, Jill. But if I get eaten by wolves, it's on your conscience. Here's hoping. Yours too, Sal. You doing okay? Yeah. No. I don't know. It's fine. I'm, uh... Not gonna try to kill myself again. I was really hoping I didn't say that last night. Okay. I'm a fucking mess. But I think I'll stay being a living mess for now. You fucking better. It was a long time ago. I know, I still worry about it. That was all head stuff. This time my actual life's just going to shit. Please, you got dumped. People get dumped. And I might have gotten fired. Might have? I did. Oh shit, Sal, what happened? Scott said I emotionally checked out. I mean, you kind of did though, right? I guess. Why didn't you tell me? Because it's fucking embarrassing. So is the rest of your life, and you still tell me all about it. Dick. Oh, and uh, last night, I slept with one and a half of my two best friends. Oh man, your life is going to shit. Okay, so we just throw this white ball and try and get the other ones closer, yeah? Yeah, and then you can like knock people's balls out of the way and stuff, and then things get pretty dirty. I like it dirty. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> I remember it being more of a gentleman's game. It's mainly played in Marseille, and sometimes people get stabbed over it. That's what my French colleagues do. Wow, that sounds lovely. Getting stabbed over what appears to be European horseshoes. Well, if we can't make up our own rules, we can at least come up with new names for things, like I knock you out of the way, I have to apologize profusely. Guys, this is like a hundred years of French tradition that you two have ruined in like five solid minutes. Ruined or ruined. Oh, one last rule. You gotta play with the drink in your non-throwing hand. Okay, see, now that is French tradition. Nice. Miss France at all? All the time. It's kind of weird though. Like, I wouldn't move back there. I mean, I could for a few years, but it's not home. Well, how about you move back to France and I'll come with you. I can be like your unemployed roommate, but it'll be cool because it's France. What about me? You can come too. Yay! We're not going to France. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Hey, how about a game of Desert Island? Yeah. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, beverages. Mmm, toughy. Assuming there's a fresh water source on the island? Of course. Okay, then I'm gonna go beer, gin, and... I'll get back to you. Any particular beer? Uh, I'm gonna go with the West Coast Pale Ale. You knocked me out of the way. My 
dearest Junebug, I <laughs> express my sincerest apologies for knocking you out of the way and decreasing your chances of winning this round. Well, I would pick a red wine, something like a really nice Bordeaux, mm. and coffee, single origin from Ethiopia. I'll go coffee too. And a beer, something like a bog standard like this one, so I could drink a shit ton and never get tired of it. I like your style. Okay, I'll go coffee too, root beer, and sake. Nice. Okay. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, so that is 671 for June, 473 for me, and we'll call it six for Izzy. Why not? <laughs> also, no one wants to be on your island. What? <laughs> Who picks oatmeal as one of their meals? It's delicious and nutritious. Okay, okay. how about three X's on your island? Mm, hard pass. Um, yeah, no. Okay, fine. It probably wasn't the best time for that one anyways. It's kind of cool how we're all finally single together. Jesus, we've been single for one day. Look at the shit we get up to. Now we can finally hit the town properly. We are gonna have so much fun. I don't know. I don't plan on being single for too long. It doesn't suit me. So you're just gonna date someone to feel better instead of for romance? I mean, romance is a bonus. Okay, fair. No, it isn't. Finding your soulmate is the most important thing in life. Maybe in a Disney movie. So you're just gonna date anybody? You're not gonna try and find out who you are and try and find your real soulmate? It sounds like something out of a great magazine, June. But yeah, for now. But if How you... about we go get some food? Yeah. You coming, kiddo? A digital detox would be so good. Agreed. But I'm honestly not that bad anymore. I mean, with the kitchen, I don't even get to my phone until like 11, and then in the morning you just want to chill. But I could go without my phone for a while. I'm terrible. Yeah, but you need it for your work. You really aren't buzzed about the store anymore, are you? No, I, I like it. It's just... I expected to love it, you know? It's like... It was my dream, and it's not anymore, if that makes sense. I get that. So what's your new dream? Horse whisperer. <laughs> Maybe stick to the store for now. But speaking of a digital detox, where is Sal? Hey, Sal, hurry up. Sal? He's not there. Porch. Shit. Maybe one of us should stay here in case he comes back. If he comes back, it means he's alive and we're fine. True. Asshole. 
Why am I an asshole? What the fuck are you doing here? Let's go for a jog. A jog? <coughs> Wait, what are you guys doing here? We're looking for you, dickhead. Yeah, you could have told us where you went. You're right. Sorry, I uh, felt like shit, so I uh, decided to go for a jog. It's uh, overrated, by the way. Well, let's, uh, let's go home for dinner. Sal. Yeah. You can't disappear like that. You need to relax. I'm serious. You're right. I'm sorry. Are you guys done with those peppers yet? Just need a little more time. Well, can we get them done today? Dios mío, you two are like children. Can we get these finished so we can eat, please? <laughs> Is this was so good. Yes, yeah, you're too good. Thank you, but it would be a lot better with peppers. <laughs> True. Hey, remember that meal you made us when we went camping at the lake? That was the uh, first trip you guys took with Lucy. How did you cook that all over an open fire? It was no sweat. Yeah, right. You were sweating. Okay, really though. There's this guy in Sweden that I met who runs a Michelin star restaurant and everything is cooked over an open flame. That sounds like a sweat fest. Oh, so I've seen your sweats from last night. <laughs> yeah, he's a sweater. No, really. You'd think he was in some sort of interrogation room with two bald cops and a bright spot. Okay, okay, we get it. So what do you guys want to do tonight? I don't know. I'm not responsible for anything. I was thinking a drinking game or two. Okay, but well, let's just keep it slow tonight, yeah? No. What did you have in mind? Let's start with truth or dare. Yes. No. Come on, one round. Absolutely. You guys just want me to be naked singing Mickey Mouse again. Hey, there's no guarantee it's going to be the same song. Great. And after that? Then I was thinking a game of I've Never. We all know everything about each other. Do we? I think it'd be fun. Thank you, Izzy. Super. Oh, come on. Stop being such a lame-o. You're not allowed. Exactly. So start stripping. <laughs> Great. Okay, I have never been helping out at a charity event, dressed as Santa Claus, and passed out because of a hangover. And this is why I didn't <laughs> want to play this game. I have never pictured myself with one of the three amigos. Okay, but let's pick things that we don't already know about each other. I pooed in my neighbor's garden. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're supposed to say I've never beforehand, but fuck it, I'll allow it. <laughs> I've never masturbated in the bathroom at work. Gross. Grosser than pooing in your neighbor's lawn? Fair. For real? <laughs> Am I the weird one for not masturbating in public? Huh. I guess I'm not a total degenerate. Oh no, you still are. Getting dumped is an opportunity. Exactly. <laughs> to have June hold your wiener while you pee. <laughs> and getting fired by your friend Scott makes you seem really hot. To all the ladies. <laughs> Hey, you'll be fine. You had two ladies last night. Uh, one and a half. Ha ha. So, in regards to that, I was thinking... Yeah? Seeing as how I got left out of the threesome last night... You mean barfing your guts out in the toilet? Yeah. I was thinking we could try again tonight. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. So? Right. Um, it's probably not a great idea, Juniper. Come on, it'll be fun. I mean, you're right. Uh, right? I just don't think it's a great move, guys. It's vacation weekend. Remember? You guys are overthinking this. I... I think Kissy's right. You guys are no fun. How about a game of bok choy? Yeah. Okay, next category. Girls who don't hate Sal. Ha! Girls don't hate me. They don't. <laughs> Sal's mom. See? Okay, yeah, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that one. I think she loves you just a little too much. Shut up. Yeah, he's mommy's little soldier. Oh, very funny. Uh, Molly. Well, he loves me. I believe the word she used to describe you was entitled. What? Yeah. She ain't a fan. Pick him up. Shit. Okay, what's your category? Things to do tonight that are not shitting on Sal. Go moonlit canoeing. Have another campfire. Watch a movie. Go to bed early. Have a proper threesome. What? Come on, guys. I missed out last night. It's not fair. June. June. I'm just getting things going. You didn't complain last night. June. Please sit down. June. What? You're embarrassing yourself. June bug. Don't June bug me. I'm sorry. We're not feeling like hooking up tonight. The uh, vibe is just not there. It's fine, Sal. Just go do whatever you want. Like usual, you're not responsible for anything. That's not fair. And you know it. Do I? Do I know it? Why don't you guys just go back inside and keep making fucking eyes at each other? What? You think I don't notice the new spark between you two? June, we're just trying to have a relaxed night. Yeah, a relaxed night without me, right? Shit. You know what? I can't do this right now. Classic Sal. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. June, if you got something to say, fucking say it. Okay. Everything is always on your terms. You wanted to hook up last night, so we did. You're upset, and it's up to me to fix it. You act like a fucking asshole. You just can't deal with this right now. That's not- I do everything for you! I spent $1,200 to try and make you feel better. I booked an Airbnb on the island that you never shut up about to make you happy. I do everything to make you happy. No one asked you to! You don't have to! What the fuck are you saying? She's saying she's in love with you. Sorry, I think I'm still kind of high. No, she's not. That's not what you're saying, right? I don't know. Maybe. June, why didn't you ever say anything? Oh yeah, because that's an easy one. I'm feeling weird that you slept with our best friend. I'm in love with him. You don't mean that. Exactly, June, please, just try to explain. Just say something. I'm not talking to you. And what do you have to say for yourself? What do you want from me, June? 
Do you want me to say that? Yeah, sure, I fucking thought about it. I don't know. That I'm somehow magically better and ready to fucking jump in with both feet. Well, you sure made it clear earlier that you don't give a shit who you date. How long has this been going on? So? Because it seems like this is your store all over again. I want a store more than anything. Fuck, never mind, no I don't. Stop it! I don't know what I'm doing. Shut up. I haven't slept in almost a week, and I'm pretty sure I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Let's not forget why you fucking brought me here. Hey, guys. I might be able to help. Are you fucking kidding me what right now? What the fuck, Brian? How long have you been here? Long enough to know that I can be of some help. Dude, you need to leave now. This isn't one of those times where you can weasel your way into a conversation, Look, Brian. hear me out. I am not just a friendly Airbnb host. I am also a licensed sexual therapist. Dude, you need to step off. Oh my god, who the fuck even licenses that? Chill out, chill out, hear me out. Sal, correct me now if I'm overstepping. You clearly are. This is a beautiful woman. It is not natural to turn that away. Sal, what are you doing? I'm defending your honor! You're going down to the fucker! Dragon! Well, now you've unleashed the dragon! I was in the reserves! I can go all day! Jesus! What? Do you have a boner? No. I can feel it! It's not my fault. It's friction based. Hey! It was necessary. I don't need you to defend me, asshole. Okay. We're all good to go. Any sign of June? Nothing. Oh, it was good to get that out in the open, though, eh? Dude. Yeah, I might have overstepped it a bit. Hey, we all got carried away. Don't mention it. Uh, I think June's at the beach. I uh, passed her on my way here. Shit. I need to get to work, Sal. What do you want me to do about it? I think you need to go after her. I'm gonna say this, and you're making me say this, but Brian's right. You need to go talk to her. Brian. Don't know how many times I have to say this, but could you stay out of this? Oh, I thought we were okay. Not sure why you'd think that. Sal, please. You said so. She doesn't want to talk to me. She's made that very clear. Well, you two need to sort your shit out, and we need to catch this ferry. Oh. Fuck me. Jeez. And he says I'm the bad guy. But he didn't even read the house rules. He did not, Brian. I don't know what I'm doing. I know. Like it all. It's not like I haven't thought about it. About us. It's just not right. And be clear, I'll be fine. It's not like I thought anything was gonna actually happen. Please. I can't resist these hips. 
Yeah, you know, that's that's what it is. I can't resist a man with pronounced hips. <laughs>